Good afternoon everyone, Eric again, Northwest Bus Sales. Thank you for your time. Check out this MCI right here. I love these, I love these D3s. 1994 MCI 102 D3, one of the most solid deadgum buses MCI ever did. I love these things, I got a handful of them in stock. 102 D3s, 102 DL3s. Man, I'll tell you what, look at that, I got a row of them over here. I got some E models, 102 EL3s, some Prevo H345s. There's a couple of D3s down there, a couple of uh, DL3s. I've got many, many more in the back. So, if anybody needs any D3s or DL3 additions to their fleet, man, this is the place to come. So, let's check it out. 1994 MCI 102 D3. Step treads showing some fair amount of use, which I think is expected for this vintage coach. It, uh, anyhow, I don't want to make it sound like it's over. Though. I mean, it is a 1994, but it's uh, you know, it's still got tons of service left in this thing. So, dual entry grab bars as you come in, air actuated passenger entry door, and as I mentioned, step treads showing a little bit of use, but I think it's normal for this. Uh, for this year coach anyways uh, looks like really good uh, recently redone I'm not sure when but man there's evidence of it check out the upholstery on this driver's seat looking real real good uh, let's see tilt telescoping wheel right there REI video system right there goodness sakes hold on this thing doesn't even have monitors in it holy cow well anyhow I would venture to say at one point it did have monitors in it it's got the REI deck right there uh, and AM FM CD player also. And these buttons down here, that's the airlocks for the uh, under four pass through storage. I'll need to open those up when we get back outside. So you can see driver and passenger heat and AC controls over there, PA mic right there. Uh, destination sign up front, manual pull down sunshades, and interior convex mirror. Uh, yeah, look at it, uh, control control switches for the uh, interior lighting what have you coach lights hazard lights over there looking pretty good so as I mentioned driver and passenger heat and AC Allison B500 whoa whoa hold on that is not an Allison B500 that is an Allison no less but I believe that's the HT740 it's a four-speed Allison automatic transmission and we even got a little bit of <laughs> I won't charge you extra for the bird poop there on the windshield windshields looking pretty good no uh, no uh, chips or cracks from what I can see it's looking yeah windshields are looking good let's check out the passenger area look at the passenger upholstery it is showing a little bit of sun fading I don't think it's excessive though there's a lot of life left in this upholstery a little bit of edge wear as you can see right there on the high traffic areas but I think overall the upholstery looks pretty good. Floor seems to be in good shape as well. Reclining high back passenger seats with armrests and footrests. Big tour style windows that are tinted. Overhead parcel racks. Look at it. Yeah, I gotta say the interior looking, it's looking all right. It, lo it looks pretty good, I think. So a lot of service left in this baby. This would work primo for like a church bus, something along that. That, that type of application private school uh, uh, sports team transportation I mean all kinds of different applications as I mentioned the floor looks pretty good as well restroom in the rear let's see here flush toilet nope not a flush toilet no sink vanity mirror right there some washrooms do have a flush toilet that's just the gravity fed toilet and minus the vanity reading lights up there as well along with vents also driver and passenger heat and ac comes out of there there at the window frame so yeah i gotta say i love these d3s one of the most dependable coaches that mci ever made they're still making d models i love them d models are probably man whenever i have a customer looking for some type of coach recommendation i just hey look at that a3 look at that peeling out right there there she goes. Man, I love those A3s. Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked already, so let's cruise around it outside a little bit. I think you're gonna be pretty pleased with the exterior on this bus as well. Let's check out the tire tread. Look at that. Man, good tire tread there on the front. 
That's the passenger side front steer tire. You can check out the Andy carriage of it as well. Look at that nice and clean. The body and paint's in really, really good shape on this thing. Really good shape. I gotta say it's been recently repainted as well by the looks of it. Looking pretty good. Mm. All right, let's open up some of these luggage bay doors. Those are those buttons I showed you underneath that I hit. That, uh, these, these luggage compartments actually have air locks on them. So, oh, auxiliary tank, look at that. I didn't know that was in here. Woo, this really kicks up the gallon capacity on this. Let's see what it says. Oh, usually there's a sticker right there. So yeah, I know it's like 192 gallons is usually the normal capacity for a D3. With that auxiliary tank, man, it puts it up to like, goodness sake, something like 250 or something, if I remember right. Man, tons and tons of miles out of this thing you can get on a tank of fuel. Look at that. There's a 12 volt, uh, 12 and 24 volt master switch right there. That's got to be on. You turn that off, that shuts down everything. A couple of 8Ds inside there. And here is another storage area. Pass through, under floor storage. Looks like you got two and a half compartments right here. DL3s you have like three compartments. For goodness sakes, like three or oh my goodness. Yeah, DL3s have three full-size compartments. D a D3 has two and a half, it looks like right there. Okay, check out the tire tread here on the drive tires on the passenger side. Look at that. She is knee deep in tread. Oh yeah. And let's check out. I hope the sun's not glaring too much off this camera. Look at that. Uh-huh. Can you see it okay? Okay. So, and then the passenger side tag axle. Let's get let's poke around under here a little bit. Airbag right there. Look. Can you see in there okay? Looking good. Looking real good. Okay. Just trying to represent the coach as best I can for what it is. Tire tread's looking good. Let's open up the mill. The barn doors here and get a look at the mill. There we go. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I love these engines. Detroit Diesel Series 6012.7. Check it. No, 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 hold on. I might have just lied to you, if I'm not mistaken. Most D3s have an 11.1, but I have seen them with 12.7s. Let me see if I can see the tag in here. See that? Yeah, I saw it. I saw the numbers. It's an 11.1. All right, same block. That's a 12.7, a little bit, little bit smaller born stroke. There we go. Still, nonetheless, solid engine. Look at that. Looking pretty good. Detroit Diesel Series 60, 11.1 liter. A lot of the 40-foot coaches have the 11.1. Most of the 45-footers have a 12.7 liter. But I have seen them both with the opposite. So, but, uh, yeah, let's check. Man, I'll tell you what, this thing looks pretty good. As I mentioned, I think it was recently repainted tread there on the driver's side rear duels, driver's side tag axle, look at that. Check it out. See the undercarriage down in here. I'll tell you what, this is a clean daggum bus. Look at that AC condenser and fans right there. And tire tread on the driver's side front. Look. As I mentioned, she's got knee deep in tread. So, all right, I think that'll do it. This is a 2000, oh my goodness, this is not, this is a 1994 MCI 102 D3. That's a 47 passenger, 40 foot motor coach. Uh, check us out online, nwbus.com. Please call any questions, 800-231-7099. Thanks.